Hi there, Leo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of April the 12th through to the 18th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Leo. First up, we have the Six of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Three of Cups reversed, followed then by the Four of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Five of Swords reversed, and lastly, we have the Four of Swords re reversed. So, Leo, for your overall energy, you have that of the Six of Pentacles in the upright position. I do like this energy. It's fair. It's balanced. And it's also good news for those of you who have been looking to apply for some kind of a loan from the bank. It could be a mortgage. could be for a car. could be for a consolidation or something like that. Good news is... It's probably going to be a yes for you. Uh, it's also good news if um, you need or are relying on generosity from someone. It could be from a friend, a family member. It could be uh, you yourself are being generous this week to someone who in a situation where they need help. For others of you, this could just be equality, fairness, and balance returns to a relationship or a situation that lost its balance. So coming right at the beginning of the week, we have the Three of Cups in the reverse position, pointing back to the Two of Cups in the upright, which is a card of bonding and clicking and con uh, connecting with one other person. See, in the Three of Cups, this is where we're bonding and connecting to um, a group, a small group of people, but this can be like where everything goes really well, we're celebrating something, the party's going really well. When it's in reverse, however, this can represent party gone bad, I call it sometimes. Not necessarily horrible, but it's just like, oh, that didn't turn out as well as I had expected or hoped. Sometimes this can just be where parties are flop or the party's cancelled or it could even be um, where people are gossiping because sometimes the Three of Cups in the upright position points to a group of friends sort of being on the same page, gathering, talking and so forth. When it's reversed, this can represent some, there's some gossip maybe that's going around sort of ruining things. Maybe it's like negative chatter going on at the uh, at the little barbecue <laughs> or instead of positive, you know, excitement. It could just be for some of you, perhaps you're tired of socializing with other people and maybe you just want to be with that other one person in the Two of Cups, just you and them. Maybe you just want some quiet times, <laughs> not wanting to socialize a lot this week, which is unusual for Leo. Leo's a very sociable sign and generally likes to, but it could just be for some reason, maybe something turned you off. Maybe you went to a small gathering and things didn't go as well as you expected or hoped. And uh, maybe it's just not for you and you walked away. And the next card is the Four of Wands in the upright position. This points to reaching some kind of a goal that was, um, you know, that something that you've been working at for a while. It could be for work. It could be a work project that you've been working on and you finally reach that summit, reach that point where there's a completion there and everybody's happy with it. Others of you, this could be, um, say, having a housewarming party. Uh, maybe this is an engagement party. Maybe you're celebrating something like that. Or it could just be happiness in the home. It could be, well, our home is now built and we can finally move into it. You know, that kind of thing. Whatever the situation is that fits you, but there's a certain level of completion going here, going on here. The the day before, with that party gone bad energy, I don't know what's going on there. You'll have to leave a comment in the comment section below if this resonated for you. Remember, this is these are just general readings. Only take what does resonate. It's not going to resonate for every single Leo out there. So check your moon, your rising, and your Venus, too. The Five of Swords is in the reverse position for the next card. This is moving on towards the weekend. The Five of Swords in the upright can point to... Uh, some, you know, nastiness that can point to where people are at odds. This could be a group of people. It could be a group of people at work that are, you know, uh, having differences uh, verbally, you know, sort of telling each other off. When the card is inverted, however, this is where the, the battle comes to an end. So if it's not playing out in the in the field, like maybe you're just not having any complications or you haven't recently had any complications with, you know, family members, neighbors, friends, uh, workplace people, 
then it could be conflict because sometimes the five of swords in the upright can point to conflict within ourselves where it's like the head versus the heart or you know we're of two minds of something so now this is the five of swords so this is coming out of that and that can point back to the four of swords in the upright position which is a card of coming out of battle just sort of needing rest needing time to regenerate you know restart our batteries that kind of thing maybe just going into a period of quietness for a moment but it will only be for a moment because the next card is the four of swords reversed so this is a return to action this is where Whatever is going on, whatever the battle was, that it, whether it internal or external, it, it comes to an end quickly. So maybe if it's something that starts early this week with this particular situation, maybe it diffuses really quickly. And by week's end, you're already over it. <laughs> because that's the Four of Swords. It's like, I'm over this. I don't need to worry about this anymore. I've healed. I've taken my time out. I've recharged my batteries. I'm good to go. So... <laughs> interesting reading again all the, the readings so far of all the sides have been very interesting a little bit different this week it looks like there's a, a a change up coming for most of the signs so that is your reading leo i really hope it helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you next week bye for now